News 13 sues for the release of an audit of the Asheville Police Department's evidence room. We join four other local media outlets in this complaint. News 13's Russ Bowen joins us with more. And Russ, remind us again of why the audit was ordered in the first place. Well, the city ordered the audit last year after drugs, guns, and money went missing from the evidence room. WLOS and our partners at Carolina Public Press, along with the Asheville Citizen Times, Mountain Express, and WCQS Radio, have filed a civil complaint against the city of Asheville and the Buncombe County District Attorney's Office. There's been such a cloud of suspicion over the whole evidence room scandal, and I think that a little bit of transparency would go a long way in sharing the raw data that's in this report. The lawsuit claims the city and District Attorney Ron Moore are violating the state's open records law by not releasing the audit of the police department evidence room. The city called for it after evidence was found to be missing. One criminal case was dropped and several people charged with violent crimes were given unsecured bonds because of lost evidence. So far, no one connected to the missing evidence has been charged since the audit was completed. The audit cost nearly $175,000 and was largely paid for with taxpayer money. Because city council commissioned this report to begin with and has thus far failed to request the report it funded, um, we think there's some onus on the city to produce and share the document. The city responds by saying the documents are currently under review by the city attorney's office. Following the legal analysis, council will be briefed as permitted under state statute. WLOS WMYA general manager Jack Connors also says News 13 is dedicated to holding officials accountable and being a voice for our viewers. As an advocate for the people of Western North Carolina, we believe it is in the public interest to release this information, which was paid for by taxpayers. The suit also claims the audit is essential to the public's understanding of and confidence in the work of our law enforcement officials. And the complaint also says the defendants claim the audit report can't be released because it's part of a criminal investigation is not supported by state law. Larry?